<laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Your turn, Jenna. Get the Mazda in here. That's amazing. You're the best, man. <laughs> like what? Adventure Bob. Adventure Bob. <laughs> we now begin our seven hour ride to Lake. Oh, what is it? Crap, I've got Lake Camino on my head. <laughs> I forget where we go. Lake something. Lake Tobayo. This is where we'll be camping for the night as we take to the Cordilleras. In this episode, our mission is to reach Sagata in the mountain province. First, Nong wanted me to check out a tree. This is the, this is Belete, and it's the biggest tree in Asia. Yeah. Wow. Also known as the Millennium Tree, it's estimated to be around 600 years old. It stands at about 60 meters and is about 15 meters in diameter. I guess you could say I was wowed. Oh wow. What? I've never been inside a tree before. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy, man. <laughs> the record is like eight seconds. Eight seconds to climb? Thailand. Really? Yeah. What? Wait, from here? No, from outside. Oh, um, really? Jump, jumping like Spider Man. Eight seconds. Mm. From outside to up there. <laughs> wow. A bid farewell to Nong and pressed on. We have a lot of road to cover. From here, it was seven hours of travel to the campsite. And as stunning as the sights were, I really had to get a move on. <laughs> the wing hit my knee. <laughs> If that happened in Australia, I would have crapped my pants. Dodging traffic from village to village for hours on end may seem tedious to some, but for me, it was a new and exciting experience. I gained more of an understanding on how to ride the Philippine roads thanks to Nong and the boys back at the campsite. So naturally, I let it rip. Or as the locals say, full kamote, and for good reason. I was on a mission, and that mission was to reach Aratau before darkness. which I did. mountain ranges were breathtaking. Although we made it before darkness, we still had a two hour climb up to our campsite, Lake Tobayo. Only an hour and a half to go. <laughs> 
Something about just being out in the elements at night on a road you've never ridden on before in a foreign country. Just chugging up the mountain with a 1200 square purring away. Oh. The higher we climbed, the colder it became, and the worse the road conditions were. That's when I realised, Jenna and I were the only ones on it. Help! Stooks, stooks, stooks. What are you doing? <laughs> hey? Oh! What? I you peed? Ah! Uh, is that all this? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jenna, you piss a lot. <laughs> Look at the rears, man. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know where we are. <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm going to wake up to a bloody surprise. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, my fuel light just came on. Three minutes away. After a well-earned beer under the stars, I went to bed wondering what I'd just climbed and what I'd wake up to in the morning. It's empty. The lake is empty. There's just a tiny little puddle all the way down there. And a few crop circles. Someone's had an absolute ball in here. This is Lake Tobeo. In amongst the mountains, we are about 2,200 meters above sea level. The climb up last night was insane. It was so good. Although I was in the dark, two hours in the dark of just constant twisties. Um, it was it was amazing. It was nice knowing that we were just going up and up and up. The air was getting cooler and cooler. Last night was freezing, um, which was nice for a change, you know. The air was really dense and moist and, um, and then the galaxy. We are going to be pinning it from here to Sagata. And I guess I'll be able to see the view now uh, that it's daylight. So I'm excited about that. But first, we need to break camp. We didn't have breakfast. We're going to just pin it. We're going to get cr cracking so that we can start mosing on. We want to get there before it gets dark. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Days. This is what we climbed up that we missed out on last night. Wow! I'm already in awe. I literally just left two minutes ago. It looks incredible. Oh my goodness.
Thank you. Is it a piss? How good is it? Thanks, man. Well, I'm in a man. Alright, full tank of fuel. Let's hit up Sagata. Tell you what, the 1200 scram runs a lot hotter than the 900 scram. But I'm not sure if that's just because of the cat. This has still got the cat on it. Mine's got the delete. The cat delete, so it runs a little bit cooler. But man, it just, just then rested it every time. I rested it on my leg a little bit. And it's just cooking my fire up. So we just pulled over on the side of the road because Jenna came up the other day for a tracking shot. So I thought I'd show you guys. This video is sponsored by Quadlock, and I'm using the Quadlock suction mount with the Insta360. So we're gonna be sticking this guy on the bonnet. And I've done this many times. It does hold the Insta360 so nice. Around the middle, eh? Boom. Lock it down. That ain't going nowhere, baby. Screw this guy. Straight onto your mount. Angle it as necessary. What do you reckon? Like that? I'm gonna go helmet high. That's it. Hit record on that. And if you have a support vehicle like I do, that's gonna be able to track you through the delicious mountains such as we are going to be doing very soon. 10% off if you use my code in the description below. Get yourself a suction mount and get some awesome, awesome angles like this. What happened? The support vehicle um, is running in limp mode. Rob told me that most of the time when computers and cars malfunction, all that needs to be done to address it is to disconnect and reconnect the battery to reset the codes. It can work. <laughs> it's worth a shot. I mean, it wouldn't be a motor feels journey without a mishap in the middle of it. And the tools of the car are like underneath our garbage. <laughs> yes, she's fully loaded. <laughs> so you're gonna find you're gonna find one? Huh? You're gonna get a tool or are you taking it somewhere? Yeah, I'll take it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So that, so they can talk. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. Um so we're gonna we're gonna ditch Jenna and we're gonna we're gonna keep going because we're already running out of time. Time goes so fast doing this stuff man. Holy crap Ola. So I've loaded up all the gear that I need for now is in here, and then we're gonna to go to uh, Sagata, where we're staying. Well, I'm staying at an Airbnb. It's got, what are they called? Earth Huts. Earth House. Earth, Earth Villas. Earth. Should be good. Let's go, we have to go. Let's go, let's go, go, go. Bye, Jenna. Good luck. <laughs>
this place is stunning. Sagada, what the hell? Hello, cows. Hello. Hello. Oh, I scared you. Hello. <laughs> uh, cows, man. Cows are bomb. Holy moly, man. It's getting, it's getting better and better. It's like we're just getting more and more into the thick of it. So good. Oh, by the way, I left my waterproof gloves in the car. <laughs> uh, hilarious. The one time it rains. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is torrential. This is getting heavier. It is marketing there. Further up the mountain I climbed, the heavier the rain fell. There weren't many places to safely pull over, so I pressed on until I had arrived. been so far the past three days and now I'm just in like the thick of the mountains just went through a crazy storm I was at the beach just in a secluded there's a thunder a secluded beach yesterday and now I'm up here the day before yesterday I was in the bloody city <laughs> just like <laughs> we've covered some ground man and I'm, I'm so just happy it's just overwhelming it's crazy How good are these places, man? Little earth huts. There's grass on top of that. I'll show you guys tomorrow. There's still thunder and lightning in the background, in the distance. Completely in the mountains, surrounded by trees and nature. And I feel like it's come to that point of the trip where I'm just, I'm just zonked, I'm exhausted. The Philippines is chaotic. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It's enjoyable. Uh, Jenna has sorted the car. It was just, it just needed a little reset with the battery. I was right. <laughs> I'm just going to have a shower and have an early night and just catch up on rest and just, just relax. This is the best. It's been such a good trip so far. I can't believe how far we've come. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.